Natural disasters like this are becoming more frequent in the Horn of Africa, displacing millions of people. Sote Lokotos recounts the night a nearby lake flooded and swept away her home. She and her family have lived in poverty and hunger since. We used to live on our land. My children would go to the farm and plant maize, which we would eat, but now I have no business. More frequent and extreme weather events are part of the climate crisis, which is being caused by emissions originating in industrialized countries far away. He might Pascal Chuma, a painter, is using his art to educate the people here, helping to explain what's happening in their countries. I thought it would be good if I did these kinds of stories on climate change so that people can know what is going on, because people mostly prefer to see than to just hear. I decided to put my work on the canvas and by drawing. A UN 2022 report found that urgent action is needed to protect local people from the worst climate devastations and save lives and livelihoods. Hunger is killing people and there is no clean drinking water. Some people are forced to share water with the animals. So in the painting I did, I brought out the solutions like building boreholes, installing storage tanks so that people can get water for irrigation and drinking. Indigenous people, many of whom live in remote areas and already marginalized, are the worst affected. Minority Rights Group International is working to educate these communities so they can demand their rights be protected. They need to appreciate that, yes, these, these changes have come and they are here to stay, so how do they adapt? But also beyond that, how do the authorities around them also support them? While the impact of climate change is global in scope, the poor are extremely vulnerable to the effects. Many are unaware of the worsening situation, which is something that art could help with. Victoria Amunga, Africa Matters, Nairobi, Kenya.